Module 6.2 Race Card, Race Results, Prior, Post and Horse Form Screens Welcome to Module 6.2 of your Proform Professional Training Course. In this module we will revisit the five key screens of the form book. The best way to demonstrate this is by showing you a race and navigating around the various screens. We're in the form book and we're on the Leicester 430 from Wednesday the 30th of January 2013. And this is the race card view because this race is yet to be run and you can see there's 7 hours 23 minutes until it's going to be run. The race card header shows you all the information about the race, the direction of the track and the characteristics, the name of the race, the, the old class and the new class, distance, the type of race it is, whether it's an handicap and if it is an handicap, the uh, handicap range, the new and old class again and then this is the course and distance pace statistics. So these are based on past runnings of two mile chases at Leicester and there is a full list of all these in the uh, members area on the insiders report section. The forecast going today, the winner's prize money, number of runners and the age range of the race, this is a four year old plus race. Now when you first install the software this is the default, just about the default settings that you would see on the screen, the default fields and there are various fields that have been left on the screen and various fields that you can still add to the screen if you wanted to. And if we scroll along sideways you can see we have right up to jockey claim and then there's no more fields after that. But there are quite a lot of extra fields you can add on. And if you right click on any column heading, doesn't matter which one, any grey column heading, and click on show fields, this will show you the fields that you've got on the race card and all the fields that are currently not on the race card. And the various of them have got abbreviated names. So this is where the uh, glossary would come into its own. If you want to find out what some of these fields were, then we would go to the uh, members dashboard and then scroll down and then we have a glossary section. And if you click on the glossary section, this opens a glossary page and we have a PDF available called the form book glossary. If we click on this and open the glossary up, this goes through in alphabetical order all the fields that are either already on the form book screen or you can add to the form book screen. So you can scroll down and find the particular one you want to look at. So we'll add a couple of fields in here and we're going to add main and stats rating. And these will have appeared at the end of the race card screen. Now we can move these along by just holding down the left mouse button and dragging them to where we want them. So we'll move this one to there and this one next to it and we can size them by just grabbing the bar in the middle and it is when you size a field that it then remembers where everything is. You can see they're on the screen here now. If we just quickly flick to the next race using the next race button, you can see the fields are now on the screen for that race card too. And if we were to close the data view and then reopen the Leicester race, you can see they're here again and they're sized. And if you want to get rid of them again, you just click on hide this field, right click and click on hide this field and it would disappear off this screen. So the second of the five screens we're looking at is the horse form screen and this changes based on which horse you select and it's whether you select the horse from the race card list or from the list down the side. Now again there's a lot of fields on this screen and they're all initially most of them are ticked and again some of them are, are not ticked and they're all explained in the glossary. then you might want to order it and sort it in whichever way you want. Just one point on the race card screen, one of the uh, little features you've probably not seen is you can make the first column 
so it stays without disappearing when you scroll sideways at the moment when you scroll sideways you lose the first column there's a little tick box in the middle here to make the first column so it's fixed so when you're scrolling along now it stays there so it's quite a good idea to have the horse name at the first column because then when you're scrolling along and look at the other fields they're all in sequence one of the features of the way the form book sorts is it keeps the current horse selected in focus we'll just turn back off the um, first row and just move this back into this position which is where I like to have it so if we have um, Arthur's Pass selected and we want it to look at sort on the various columns then Arthur's Pass is the horse that remains selected now if this isn't happening on your form book which in some cases it will it is it's dependent on how many fields are on the screen so all you need to do is add one extra field or take one away if I take away the current last field which is user rating for odds and then do the sorting again it's not keeping the selection with the same horse so all you need to do is go back to show fields and just add in an extra field that will be at the end and then the sorting will work by sticking with the the correct horse. So the horse form screen I initially always have sorted by date order so that you're looking at the most recent runs for an horse at the top but of course you don't need to do that if you want to sort by the going so you can see it's all its runs under particular goings together you can do that and another feature on the horse form screen is if you want to quickly add this particular horse into your horse watcher you can click on short lists and click on horses to watch and this will have added Arthur's Pass into the horse watcher and it now appears on the welcome screen and if we open the horse watcher you can see it's in there as well and we'll remove it now and go back to the welcome screen and it's disappeared so that's just a little feature on the horse form screen so if you move on to the prior form screen the prior form is showing you all the horses form together now I have this initially sorted by the pro form speed rating they produced in that particular race but of course you can just order it by by date so you've got the most recent runs at the top or by any any of the columns and fields and the same thing applies on on the, this screen there'll be fields that are not displayed that you can add if you want and fields that you can take away if you don't want them on the screen And again, just a reminder, this is all done by right-clicking on any column heading. And while we're on this screen, you can also see if we just want to auto-resize all of the fields, we can do that. Or if we want to copy this data to the clipboard, so we can then paste it into Excel, we can, we can do that as well. And you can do that on any grid. You can copy what you're seeing on this grid to the clipboard or export direct to a CSV. So we'll sort it back in the order that I have it. So that's the race card, horse form and prior form. If we go back to the horse form screen. So if we want to look at this particular race in detail and see the results of it, we can just double click this line and choose the race name. And this will open that result that Arthur's Pass just recorded. And we can see this was also at Leicester and over two miles. And if we just expand this sidebar, we can see we've got two races in the viewing history now. The one we're looking at today and the, the one that we've just jumped to. And the race results screen has got lots of information on two. And the same applies again. On the show fields, you can take away or add more data in there by default everything is turned on and of course you might not want everything on so you can untick all the all the fields that you don't want so you've got a much more customizable and compact screen and one of the things you do see on this screen is the in running highs and lows 
So when you're on the race results screen and you're looking at horse form and prior form, you're actually looking at the horse form prior to this race result. So this only shows half as passes form up until before this date. And the same applies to prior form, which you can see by if we have half as pass open and then flick back to the race card screen, half as pass form horse form screen shows that past race whereas when you're on the past race it doesn't show that. This gives you the sort of added benefit of when you're going back and looking at past race results you're seeing them before they were run in effect. Now the, put, the fifth screen is the post form screen. So when you're on a race result screen the post form shows you how the horses have performed since. And at the moment we just have the one line in this which is half as pass which is about to run today so it's showing a record ready to be filled in for how it's going to run today. So if we go back to the race card we were looking at and we'll have a look at this Ludlow race of half as pass. So we double click the Ludlow race, drop into the the race that it won at Ludlow and then if we have a look at the post form screen now we can see how all these horses have performed since and the same rules apply to this screen all the fields will be currently ticked and you can untick them and size them and move them where you want them um, and sort them so we go back to the race card screen again and have a quick look at the filters again everything is affected by the filters so if we just want to have a look at wins for these particular horses click on wins and apply and it's now only showing us winning form so when you look at horse form it's just winning form same when you look at prior form it's just all the winning form for the horses and you can see you've got a quick filter enabled by the red status bar here and if we go to the race result at Ludlow the same applies when you at this in this as well. So the, it's only looking at past wins, and when you look at post form, it'll only show you the winners that have come out of the race. So the filters affect everything, and the glossary tells you which fields are affected by the filters too. So we just flicked back to the glossary, and you can see the column at the end is whether the field uses filters or not. and each one is marked up with a yes or no down that column. So if we were to change it to wins and places and click apply and we're still on the post form screen for that Ludlow race it will now just show us the wins and places. And don't forget you can move the tabs around to where you want them as well. So you might only want to use no split mode so you've got more information on the screen. So you can do that by clicking this don't split or you can move items between the top and bottom tabs. And when you're on a race card, if you want to move to the next one in sequence, you can just use the next and previous race buttons. But don't forget, we've got quick filters enabled. So when you're looking at a race, we're only looking at win and place form at this point. It's important to remember to turn the filters off if you want to look at all the form again. A little extra feature on the buttons at the top is if you right click on any of the buttons you can undock this data view. If you have a multi-screen setup um, in your office or wherever you can move one of these to your secondary screen. So you could have for instance on this side you might have the draw stats and then you have on the other screen the data view so you can be looking at the data view on one side or the draw stats or system builder on the other side and you can also undock these as well so you could have various buttons undocked and in different positions on the screens and to redock them you just click the dock window buttons and they reappear back on the main screen
Well, that's a whirlwind tour of looking around the farm book again, but gives you a bit more of a feel for how the five main screens of the farm book interact with each other. Well, that's it for the module 6.2 training session. The farm book is, of course, a very important feature of the ProForm software. The more familiar you become with navigating around the farm book, the more winners you will find.